Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a great day. And today we are doing a test and review of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is in the shade of Porcelain, which is their lightest shade. And so I'm going to be testing this out on my face, showing to you what it looks like. And at the end of the video, we'll be doing a thorough review. So let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm not afraid of... Alright, so before we get into the application of this foundation, I want to say this is $5.99. They had it at Walgreens and CVS and probably Walmart too. So Porcelain is their lightest shade. This is number... It doesn't have a number, it's just shade Fair Porcelain. And this is a goodbye photo flashback. So hopefully when you take a picture, it doesn't look crazy. Because you know how a lot of times you use foundation? And it looks dull except for where your concealer is. Well, this is supposed to get rid of all that shock and it looked really, really good. Now, I heard a lot of good things about this foundation, so I am slightly hopeful. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the application of this really affordable foundation. Okay, guys, so we're going to apply this to my face. I've already primed using NYX Photo Loving Primer. And here we have the shade Fair Porcelain, which always works perfect for me. So I'm hoping this is my shade. It's the lightest one that they had. So, let's go ahead and give it a shot. I have a damp beauty blender here. I'm going to apply it with... I don't know if it's... Li There's a little spatula thing in here. Alright. I don't like the smell. It smells chemically. I hate, I hate the smell. I'm not crazy about this little spatula thing, but I mean... If it applies. I don't know how much I need yet, so... Hopefully this is good. Now let's go ahead and blend this in and see how it looks. The smell is absolutely fucking terrible. It's like poisonous Play-Doh smell. Okay, so the color is pretty good match for me. It's like a light to medium coverage. I can definitely still see my tiny little freckles through this. Maybe it's buildable. We'll have to see. But just so far, all I can tell is it's a good color match. Whoa. We have some issues here. Alright, so this is one layer. Um, and I'm going to show you the finish of this. It really, really sticks to my dry patches really bad and shows them. So as you can see on my forehead, you can just really see the enhanced little dry spots. Uh, around the edges of my nose, it's really obvious too. Yeah. Under here where my nose is usually kind of dry, it's really enhanced. You can see every little mark. The finish is okay. It's not very, it's kind of dull. Finish is pretty dull. It's too light coverage for me, per se, because I tend to get kind of redness under here. And then I have some weird freckles up here. Uh, and it really enhances my dry areas, like, really bad. So, I'm going to give you my final thoughts after I put on the rest of my makeup. Okay, guys, so now that you saw that, you know that I am under-impressed. I don't like it. I will not be wearing it. Maybe on someone who has more dewy, maybe oiler or oilier skin than me. I don't like it at all. It just enhances my dry patches. It felt okay on the skin. I don't like the smell of it. It's just not for me. Um, I'm kind of a big smell person. If it smells really, really funky, I'm probably not going to want to use it. Especially if it doesn't give me full, full coverage. You know, if it gives me full coverage, I'll do whatever it takes. But this is just light to medium coverage. Enhances my dry patches and I will not be using this product. The color was a good match. I'm was at first kind of like mad at this little spatula but like applying some to the face before buffing up beauty blender with it was actually kind of nice so i will give them props on that it's a good container this feels heavy and luxurious you get a whole fluid ounce of product in here which is a lot more than some other brands like max little thing that i use so yeah anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have do your skin or not dry skin i think this probably would work for you but it's just not for me. Hope you guys subscribe to my channel. 
be sure to not miss any of the five videos that I put up a week because isn't everybody always looking for more stuff to watch on YouTube? Yeah. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day wherever you are and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.